Morning everybody, this is Patrick Rufo from Rufo Optimal Workouts and uh, today's topic is get a grip. Uh, this was brought to attention by one of uh, an athlete I counsel. Uh, I'm not his coach, uh, but it's interesting that he is getting tendonitis in his wrist at his age and if you think about it, we really as rowers focus so much on the big muscle groups, quads, hamstrings, back, chest, and we don't think about the small muscle groups, which is the muscles in our hand and our forearm. Um, I know from sculling, a lot of us get that fire paw, which is you know the result of us kind of grabbing at the catch, you know, not being used to you know kind of the smaller blade, not catching the water. We get that kind of tension in our forearm. So I remember when I used to race in the single, um, I would get you know throbbing in the forearm from that. But in any case, I just want to show you. Um, grip on the rowing machine to start. Um, so the athlete said he got tendonitis because he thinks he's stretching his fingers at the catch. So our coaches tell us, relax fingers, which is true. You don't want to have this like death grip on the oar where you feel all this tension in the forearm. But if I grab the handle here and I have the fingers loose, and I'm coming up the slide, and I used to do this too, I would kind of flutter the fingers. When I come to the catch and I'm ready to take the stroke and change direction, my fingers are here, and I have to re-grip the oar to move back every single time. So if I'm letting my fingers stretch, 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 and then re-grip the oar every time, then essentially what I'm doing is I'm creating all this instant tension on the forearm and the small muscles of the wrist. We have to remember that the, the force that you're producing with your legs and your body is greater, could be greater than what your hand and forearm can overcome. So that's going to cause that like kind of jerk back. And that's going to translate up all the way up to your shoulder. And if you don't have strong lats as we talked about, and we don't have strong biceps, triceps, forearms, and muscles in the hand, then we're just going to be like jostling every time, especially when we're doing hard interval work. So one thing you have to really make sure, though, that, that I think is is keeping the hand on the handle. You don't have to have a death grip, but you want to. I mean, you can have loose fingers, but just keep the hand around the handle. Uh, my masters do this too, uh, more at the finish, and we'll talk about that another time about what they do at the finish, where they bend the wrist or kind of let the wrist flip underneath. That's going to cause a lot of issues. Um, but if you want to strengthen your grip. One of the things I use is this thing is called the Captain's of Crush. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. Um, you basically just crush and relax, crush, relax. Just working on the muscles. I mean, you can do that sitting, you know, while you're sitting at your desk. Um, but you want to make sure you work on both ways. So we have these uh, little bands here. I didn't. You can buy elastic bands, but I had to go out and buy, you know, the actual thing where you're actually retracting, retracting. So you're working the muscles in your fingers and your hand. Um, so that you can be a little bit stronger uh, in your grip. Um, so pay attention to your grip on the erg. And if you have any questions um, or have any issues, let me know. Because any kind of movement of the hand at the catch is going to cause you to is going to put you in a more weak position. So try it out, and uh, there'll be more on that later on. And have a good day, Patrick Rufo, Rufo Optum Workouts.